all of the things I'm naming, they can go one way or the other. So I'm trying to give like both um, examples so you can know what to look for. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about, I hate when my air come on after I've just turned it off for the video. Today, I'm going to be talking about signs of depression in young people. Depression versus just sadness. Um, but before we get into that, if you don't know me, my name is Maya. I do mental health content, acting content, and vlogs. So if you like that type of thing, you should subscribe to my channel. Let's just get straight into the video. I do have a history of depression and anxiety, so I know a lot about it. And I try to take what I've learned over the years and my experiences and help other people by making these type of videos so you can like learn and if you're dealing with somebody that you know that's dealing with depression or something like that, you can um, try to figure out ways to help them and how to be in their life. So that is what I make these videos for. I have a mental health playlist on my channel so you can see all my mental health videos. They're in one spot. I try to make everything like in categories on my channel so you can, it can be easier for you to navigate. So let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Um, if you like these glasses, I will put a link to a video I made um, last week so you can go purchase them. If you want 10% off, you can have 10% off by using my code. Go watch that video so you can know what I'm talking about. One thing I noticed for me um, when I was depressed, if somebody is not open with you about their depression or whatever, one sign that you may notice is appetite changes. Now for me, um, when I was depressed, I would not eat or I would eat very little. Um, so, and people who know me, I love food. I love to eat. So like, if I'm not eating or if I'm eating very little, you know, like something is wrong. You should probably check on me. You know what I'm saying? So that could be one just like sign. People who, you know, who usually love to eat, they love food and they might not be eating too much or they're just like picking at their food and not eating a lot. They may be, that may be one sign that they are depressed. So you should like check on them um, when it comes to that. Or it could be the opposite. Um, people who usually don't eat too much, maybe they start overeating or like eating like junk food or stuff they usually don't eat. They eat a lot more than usual. That can also be a sign of depression. So it can be like under eating or overeating. So both of those are signs of depression. Um, I know specifically for young people. And so that is one sign and one way to know that maybe somebody might be depressed. The second thing I have um, is like isolation. If somebody, you know, they usually like friendly or they usually go out a lot or do a lot of things and they start to pull back and like they um decline to go places or decline to do things with their friends they don't hang out as much or you know they start to isolate themselves that could be a sign of depression or it can also be the opposite people who usually don't go out a lot they might start going out more trying to like overcompensate and trying to like they think going out and partying and doing a whole bunch of things will keep their mind off of depression. Um, so there is still a sign of depression. So like they're going out all the time trying to do this. They go in here and go in there and they usually don't do that. They're maybe trying to overcompensate um, or like distract their minds from being sad. So that could be another sign. And then when it comes to like hygiene, um, I know for me, when I get super depressed, like I won't shower a lot. Um, I will avoid brushing my teeth. I won't do my hair. I won't take care of myself as far as hygiene. Um, so that could be another sign. If you notice people are like starting to smell or like they're looking like they're not keeping up with themselves. That's also a way for you to um like check in on them like are you doing okay i noticed you haven't been um your usual self like as far as appearance or like hygiene so you know you can check on them that way or the opposite they could be they could be like obsessed with being clean they could take 
like two showers a day. They can just be over obsessed with their own appearance and their own hygiene. Like it's a way to distract themselves from the depression so they can be like showering a lot, brushing their teeth way too much, you know. And there's no such thing as being too clean, but like when it becomes like obsessive, that usually means you're trying to distract yourself from something. So like um, all of the things I'm naming, they can go one way or the other. So I'm trying to give like both um, examples so you can know what to look for because not everybody deals with it in the same way. Like I said, I will refrain from doing anything that has to do with my hygiene when I get in a depressive state. But some people might not be like that. They might be extra clean or, you know, um, some people have the mental state that if I clean myself enough, you know, I'll clean this sadness off of me or, you know, something like that. So, like, that could be a sign of depression as well. And the last thing I have for today is, like, a thing of cleanliness. Like, some people, when they get depressed... I know I'm always on like the opposite side of the spectrum. I won't clean up or like my room. I, if you know me, I like to keep things clean. I like things to be clean and neat and organized. But when I get in depressive state, like my room be junky. I won't clean the house and stuff will be like just dirty. I won't wash clothes and things like that. So like it could be that or on the other side of the spectrum, people can be like cleaning up too much. They have to make sure everything's spotless. They have to make sure everything is in order, organized. They have to clean up every day. They're cleaning up all day, every day. And like I said, it's just another way to distract yourself from the sadness. So these are some of the signs of depression that I know I've dealt with and that other young people deal with. So. If any parents watch my channel or anything like that, or you know, you have family members that deal with this kind of thing, I just want y'all to be aware of some of the signs and the symptoms of people who um, may get depressed. These are some of the things I've dealt with, and I will make more of these videos. I just wanted to do a few of the symptoms today, and I'll just make this like a, a continuation, a series or whatever. Um, so I hope you learned one thing from this video at least, and I hope this video helped you in some kind of way. If you like this video, don't forget to leave me a like, um, comment something down below that you learned or you may not have known, um, subscribe to my channel, make sure you share this video with at least one person. Love you guys so much. Don't forget to watch my video from last week, and I will see you guys in my next video. Love y'all.